talking about and class okay. so class class simulation is for um for polygon surfaces so let's create a plane a polygon plane and then i'll, I'll increase the the scale first so that you can see clearer So, uh, let me just demonstrate um, what it will look like uh, for a default plane. Okay, so, to create uh, an end cloth, just select the uh, mesh and then go to end cloth and then just click create end cloth. Make sure you reset the settings. And if you play this, uh, well, that, that, that will um, connect it to the nucleus and the nucleus has a gravity so the object will fall down okay um, so let's go to the nucleus and then just make the use plane uh, to turn it on okay so that we can see how the cloth will react to the ground okay? so we're, we are just working on um a default plane a default set default settings except for the use plane okay so currently it just slides off the the ground okay uh, so that's basically how how we create um a mesh a polygon mesh into a uh, dynamic cloth solution okay so now um i'll just add let's say um a cylinder and then I'll just make this a sort of a tabletop so we go to uh We'll make this a collider. So let's see how uh, how the cloth will react to a certain object when uh, it collides. Okay, so select the object and then go to end cloth. Create passive collider. Okay, so without um, changing any settings except for the ground plane. Uh, Let's see how this will work. Okay, so it collides with the object um, and then slides slides off the, the object. Okay. Um, I'll make this, I'll return this to the flat uh, rotation. And then let's see how the simulation will work on this. Um, Um, as you can see, the the cloth looks like uh, not much of a cloth, but a sort of a stiff uh, surface. So, uh, what what we need to know in terms of cloth is it it is based on the number of uh, faces or the vertices available in a certain object so the lesser vertex uh, vertices um, the harder or the more what do you call that stiffer the object will be so um, as you can see in this in the simulation um, it's, it's not so so smooth Okay, it doesn't fold the right uh, if, if this is a tabletop it doesn't um, fold properly okay. it's important that you have more faces here so uh, let's create an, a new a new scene and then uh, sorry 
we'll create a cylinder. Um, let's just recreate the V. Sorry. The scene earlier, but we'll have to create uh, a plane with with more vertex vertices or faces. Let's increase the subdivision width and height. Okay, so as you can see, the the plane has a lot of um, vertices, faces. Then if we set this into a an end cloth and then set this as a passive collider, um, we'll just turn on the use plane so that if it falls right uh, off the the tabletop, it won't fall down uh, infinitely. Okay. So this has a more uh, softer softer simulation than before. But of course, as you know, um, the more faces or vertices here. Uh, the, uh, the more computations the the uh, processor you use okay so it will eat most of your uh, of your memory okay? however that's how it it is okay? so uh, So, um, cloth simulation is it can be used for for animation, but also can can also be used for for modeling. Um, it will be very difficult if you have to model this one if you have a tablecloth, um, and you'll have to model it. It will be very difficult to to do uh, if if you want to do a simulation. So for example, you want this this effect and you you don't want it to be um, animated na, or or you won't need it to have uh, to be affected by by any uh, fields uh, you can just delete history okay, so it will break the connection and then this will become a simple uh, model of of a tablecloth so it will save you some time um, instead of of sculpting these individually okay. so so far that's it um, at least for this the this first part uh, the introduction for for and clock